What's going on, everyone? Sweaty Zeus here. Uh, back in Caled. Wanted to knock out, like I just did with Lee Ernia, any of the things we might have missed. Because um, of the way we're doing this, there's a few things, like some in Caled, that are easy early on, and some are a little more late game. And some we just, you know, skimmed over with so much to see and do. So I wanted to come back and knock out the things we missed in an episode. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And while we're here, I'm going to visit Garant because we've got a couple new death routes. So. Stone of Garant. Very nice. It's one of the better incantations you can get from him. I'm thinking about re respecting again, uh, eventually. I'm not going to just yet, but maybe in the next episode or two. Um, I was thinking about doing, going back to like what I originally thought about, which was a uh, like a uh, beast strength build, like just like just be beast uh, faith, and then like and then strength. Um, because you get a really cool weapon from him after another death route or two. Uh, and then I thought it'd be fun to use, so. But anyways, just wanted to remember to bring that back because it's easy to forget. I always forget about it. Especially when we're not playing as strength, but I'm sure you guys that are playing with that probably remember, so. Now we're going to ride down here, take care of something else I didn't get. There's going to be another one of the, um... Actually, it might be better to come at it from the other direction. Um, there's going to be another one of those Knights, um, Calvary guys down here. He's got a really good Ash of War. And we're going to take on this dragon, too. I couldn't remember if I'd... Knocked him out or not. I usually like to wait till he turns around. He might have already seen me, but if you wait to approach, yeah, he's seen me. If you wait till, um, he turns around, a lot of times you can approach him from the back. And I suggest doing this one mounted. <clears throat> so you can avoid his fire attack a little better. it off that time. I also went and made myself some more golden foul foots. I could go ahead and throw on the uh, golden scarab as well. Let's see if they stack. I still have it. So look that up or looked into it. I'm pretty sure they do, but I won't swear to it. Yeah, we didn't take on this avatar yet either, so...
still got ours active from the last one. Hopefully it'll. Yes. I think that's a double up. So I think this guy was like worth like eighty thousand, if I remember. Not a hundred percent, but. So over here, you know, this part's pretty difficult. Um, I don't know if we're going to be ready for it. Um, you know what, I'm not going to do it with this amount of rooms either. There's a grace nearby. I need to get over here, actually. Holy crap. Still not quite enough, I don't think. What was it? I need like 5,000 more, 4,000. So the Knights of Calvary is going to be on that bridge right there. my lock on. Come on. Damn it. I missed the uh, critical because the warp. What's going on? I can't see his horse. That's got to be some type of new glitch. <laughs> I don't even know where he... It's, it's so weird, like I can't tell where he's going. I gotta post this. Oh 
my god, this is hilarious. Oh, I forgot. I got way too distracted to throw my uh, golden crowfoot on there. <laughs> Definitely weird. I think in order to make that happen, you'd have to have him fall off while he's um, like de materializing and like going back to the battle area. You know how sometimes they get out and they go too far and they have to go back. Alright, so that knocks out everything right over here. Put a marker so I know I did that. Did that one too. And then I'm gonna go down here. Alright. So, um, I guess we can do it in order, might as well. We've got a cave over here that when I came upon it earlier, I didn't have a, uh, oop, I didn't have a stone sword in my inventory. over back here in this corner that uh, candle candle auburn back there leads you over here so that's what that is I don't know why I was thinking we did this one. Four paws out. kill those guys if you want because they're all going to get out uh, eventually very soon. Where's the way we go? Oh, over here. one of the ones we could have hit a lot earlier we would have been fine with this is one sided yeah
So there's a shortcut open. You'll see they're all out now, like I said. They're going to explode. This one takes us back the other way towards the beginning. It's all very confusing. Yeah, this is where we drop down. Because this was closed before. I went down the way that fell, like where the fort fell out. There's gonna be more down here. Oh, I keep forgetting, I gotta take that off. That's where we fell through. This is where there's a lot of them. Kill them before they explode. It's a lot in here. There we go. Ah! That's where the little guys ambushed us. That was closed before. Here's the boss fight room. I don't think we need any help with it. Nope. Yes. Future corpse ashes. There's nothing really crazy in here, but like I said, we didn't knock it out before, so. There's something over here, though, that we didn't get. It's a cool little sword. Regalia of Aocade. And a worthless glowstone. But if you remember, this is over by where we picked up the Wondrous Physic Flask. Which is that church right there. So now, I'm going to work back to Kaled. Go ahead and mark that off. Let's go. Tunnel. I was trying to remember. Oh, they're spelled different. Okay. Um, 
say next we can do this one, uh, do the dragon. This guy's pretty tough. I think at this, I think at this point you'll be fine. But man, we've done all this in only 20 minutes. That's pretty impressive. I need to start um, itemizing my videos more often. So there he is, right there. I'd use whatever you know, really good summon you want. So. I'm going to try out the Prave Perfumer. Maybe they've got some way to heal themselves. Although I don't know if they can even be afflicted with Rot. So yeah, this guy brings out Rot. So you're going to want to equip some way to remove it. Immunities rot, I believe. So that and five. We are going to be right resistant city. And you really are going to want it for this fight because it's not just rot, but the, while you're in the dragon's rot, it like ticks your health down before it's even afflicted. I don't know how else to explain it, but you'll probably see it whenever he starts hitting me with it. So he's going to, you're going to actually have to use technique for this. So. Um, when you're in, you know, fighting him on foot, you're going to have to jump back on your horse and ride away when you see that he's doing his breath. Um, because it'll spray about this far and it'll cover the whole area. I mean, the only way to do is ride the horse straight away. And then sometimes they'll do more of a direct spray where you can ride to his side. Uh, the first one I was talking about is really where he's going up in the air and spraying it. It just depends. You can watch, see what I'm doing, but really the main thing is you're going to have to be off and on your, your horse for a majority of this fight. Um, so, you know, I'll, I'll do the best I can and see, um, see if I can comment during the fight. It's hard to remember all the moves. It's been a while, but I'll take them on and comment as, as it goes. As always, I like to open up with the Ronnie's Dark Moon. It's going to inflict frost usually. It's doing a ton of damage to his face. Oof. Alright, so there's his first little rot thing. It's a little small one. Now he's... I thought he was going to do it. Here it comes. You can see it's just... everywhere. And our little friends taking a thousand damage when they were in the in the uh, cloud just then. Here's the other one. This is the one I kind of ride behind him. And then when he gets in the air, do your best to get behind him if you can. Oh shit! Yeah.
Gotcha. Alright, so the cool thing about that fight is uh we're gonna get a new draconic power which is uh Ezike's Rotten Breath Excise, I think it I don't know how it's pronounced, but it looks like Ezike's Exikes, Exikes. This is the best one in this whole thing. If you're gonna, you know, be doing any of the dragon stuff, in my opinion. All the named ones are better. The gills, exiles, smarogs, uh, grail. And you still got enough left to buy most all the other ones, I think. That's the fire worm. I'll save the rest and others a couple more we'll get later. Well, it's a pain in the ass nights outside this church. Oh, let's see what chest piece. If I could make this look kind of cool, it'd be nice because. It uh increases the frost damage. Is there a way to make it look a little more masculine? Just lay the lower part is this looks kind of weird I really like that these are the ones we got a couple episodes back that increased the power of the schools. I kind of like this one, the almond killer robe. I kind of like this too. I haven't got the, uh, I kind of like that. I haven't got the, um, The black flame guy stuff yet. That kind of looks cool too. I've worn this to death on all my playthroughs. This one looks good if you remove the. Uh, there's our dude out there walking around. If you remove the. Uh, what you call it? Flare. Some of them I like better with, and some I like better without. By the way, I accidentally killed our buddy Bach the Seamster in between an episode. Um, I was just messing around in the room, and I accidentally threw a, a beam out of this weapon, and it, it hit him. And he said something like, oh, master. That was kind of cool, actually.
Yo. I wish there were more like cool looking armor sets. A lot of them feel kind of goofy. Like they're meant to be goofy. Color doesn't quite match. That bottom, those uh, greaves match really well, though. I like the golden armor, too. That's all too heavy. Anyways, I'm done messing around. I'm sorry. <laughs> like a cool Viking dude. Yeah. I like that. And then we can go back to see what helps our our weapon up the most. So disappointed I couldn't get the scorpion charm in my setup. That one definitely is one of the best. This one's really good. Thank God for you. you have to go with the other one if you're gonna use this sword. Ah, oh, we're fat rolling. Come on, man. Oh, that'll do it. Let's get rid of our torch. Although we really can't work in this area. Uh, by the way, I just wanted to show this real quick. It's got like the um, bell bearing hunter it, you can like make it shoot out it's got the same actual move as the bell bearing hunter sword that we got Get a spot till we can drop our uh, torch. What do we got next? Right up here. I think I missed this ruins. I may be wrong, but did we get the great sword? I thought we did. Yeah, okay, we got it. These guys I definitely like to try to sneak up to because I can't stand them. Probably my least favorite enemy in the whole game. To, you know, to fight and mess around with. go-kart dudes over here
No, don't leave me. Gotcha. So I think I've already been down here. No, we haven't. Okay. I was right. This is the. Uh, I was going to say it's a meteoric or sword, but I don't think it is. Oh, yeah, it's a shield. That's why I never came and got it, because I didn't care about it. Is that a banner? Alright, we're at 40 minutes. We knocked that out. And we've got another little cave over here. We killed that avatar. <laughs> we did that too. We need to mark it. There's a uh, spirit spring you can jump on right here. Oh, I really don't want to try this yet. Is it here? Oh my gosh, I made it all the way down my first try. Stay away from that guy. Over here. Somewhere. Oh, don't tell me yet. I haven't got the painting. to kill that guy first. There it is right there. Should be right here. There he is. Okay. 
It'll give us uh, Ash of War, Rain of Arrows. And then we get this fun fight by ourselves with no summon against uh, the most badass golem in the game. Get ready. You can see we did like no damage. Okay, that's working. Uh oh. You gotta like hide behind the pillars when he does the fire breath. Oh shit! Bro! God, he does so much damage. Oh, we're screwed. We're screwed. We're screwed. We're screwed. Alright, where does that? Get behind something? I just fall down, man. Shit. No, go, go. Shit. This is like what reminds me of Dark Souls. <laughs> For the most part, this game's like so much easier. All right, we just fire breath. Get back. There we go. Okay, get over there. Get over. There. Yes. Come on. Comes again. Oh, please tell me I can beat him. Oh, no. Ah! There's no way you have to like come back down here to fight him again too, and like hop down all that shit. I saw that coming. Come on, man. We need one more fall down. Oh, no.
Oh yes, we did it. We did it. We killed him. That's like the hardest enemy in the game right there. <laughs> no joke. So hard. I don't know why he's so hard. But he is. And it's like in Caleb. Like you'd... Ex I don't know. You'd think you'd be like... In the very end of the game. Like in Faramazula or something. But he's just in Caleb. That's all that's down here too. But... I wanted to at least show that to you. So you knew where that Ash of War was. And where you could see where this ridiculously hard golem was for no reason. Guarding a single rune arc. But yeah. And then there's... Let's see. That took a lot longer than I had hoped. There's one more cave right here. Um... See if we can just at least find the mouth of it. Just gonna follow this little path. Straight up there is where we fought Grey Old, the giant dragon that laid down. It just let us whack its tail for five or ten minutes. There's another dragon down here. It's not a named dragon. It's just like a, a generic, like the two back there. You don't get anything for killing it or Alright. So I think Yeah, this lower path will take us there. There's like the toughest bear in the game here too. Dragon barrel, that's it. Giant rune bear in here. Otherwise though, it's, it's a really short cave. Just, I don't have time left to finish it, so. Uh, we knocked everything else out in Caleb that I could remember. Uh, we did the Great Jar and all of that, so I can't. I guess I'll have to just do this in the next one and clip that in with the rest of what we were doing and go back to. Um, probably do one to knock out anything I missed in here as well. I do know one thing I need to do real quick. Oh, I can't. I gotta get out of here. Shit. The uh, painting. Oh, now I gotta kill him. Just like the painting we just did, there's another one. Uh, it's gonna be right up here. There's one that looks at uh, the academy, and it has that uh, 
little gate in it as well. There it is. It gives you like the scholar stuff, which I know it's not like anything important. You probably never use it, but. Do most everything. Oh, he's got. Ah, uh, it's cool. We got some extra rooms. All right. Well, and then there's one in Limgrave. I don't, I don't know if I ever did the painting there. It is like right over here. Let's see. I don't know what that one's of. I'll take a look at it. Homing instinct. Yeah, it's like. It's like looking through there, I think. Problem is you can't see it until you're like right up on the chair. Remember it was like right around here somewhere. So it's got a couple little graveyards looking through, seeing a tree, and a church. So it should be like right over. I don't see the graves though. Am I blind? Where are the little graves? Grave sites. Because otherwise it's like right here. Or no. Excuse me. <laughs> it's over there. There it is. Oh. Yeah, you get that scarab. I think it lowers the cost of incantations or something. I don't know. But anyways, we got it. I'm trying to knock everything out. So, thanks for watching. Uh, we will continue in the next one. And uh, catch you there.